And first tonight, the number of Wisconsinites without a permanent roof over their heads. It's on the rise since the pandemic, and that's according to a new report from the Wisconsin Policy Forum. But how is this rise in homelessness impacting our community? Braden Ross talked to one local organization to find out. We're never going to not need shelter. Things happen. People lose jobs. They have medical crises. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of Wisconsinites who needed that shelter was steadily falling. But for the last two years, homelessness has been on the rise. And Porchlight Executive Director Carla Tennis has seen it firsthand. We're currently on Zaire Road. Um, you know, serving twice as many people as we as we ever did. Porchlight runs Madison's emergency men's shelter on the east side. We are currently averaging 300 guests a night. We have cots for 250, and so when we get above 250, which I can tell you the last time we were at 250, um, we just put mats, uh, mattresses on the floor. But why the increase? Well, for one, the end of pandemic era assistance has hit both people at risk of homelessness and those who serve them hard. All of those funds to run the shelter have been these ARPA funds, have been these federal dollars coming in which are drying up. Tennis says the lack of affordable housing in the area also continues to be a problem. When you read in the paper that affordable housing is being built, that's not for the people that I serve, right, who are at 30% of, of CMI. Um, I like to say that that's for my staff but certainly not for our clients. That Wisconsin Policy Forum report also cites a shift to a housing first approach to ending homelessness over the last decade, something Tennis says Porchlight has been a part of. Basically get folks out of their homeless situation into permanent housing, not all of these layers, right? But two of Madison's first attempts at the model didn't end the way they planned. Here at the Trillian Apartments, a complex designed to house people at risk of homelessness, many residents are facing possibly ending up back where they started as the complex prepares to be sold. The reason programs fail that call themselves housing first is we don't have the dollars. Is it needed? Absolutely. Can we afford it right now in this town? No. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now.